Welcome back to my print on demand journey. This is the fourth installment of my print on demand series where I'm documenting exactly what I've learned and how everything's going so far. If you haven't watched the other three videos, then I would highly suggest doing that because in this video, we're going to be talking about everything that's happened since the last update video. And honestly, I do think that you guys will be a little bit surprised with the results at the end of this video. So let's start talking about what's happened. Before the video starts, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because it does really help out the channel. This video is sponsored by Printify, but more on that later. At the end of that last update video, I realized that all of my profits were being lost to the advertising cost and this would make my stores go negative. Well, right after that video, I decided to go back to the drawing board and do a little brainstorming. So here's a look at how that went. For the store that I've created, I have been able to make sales, so that means a couple things for sure. One is that the storefront works, people can get over to it and make purchases. And the second thing is that the designs aren't absolutely terrible. Yes, I know there are like 8 billion people in the world, so at some point or another, somebody's gonna buy a terrible design shirt, but I've been able to make enough sales to the point where I don't think my designs are absolutely terrible. At least I hope not. Now, the conversion ratio for the people who have seen my ads and actually gone to the store isn't so great. And that shows to me that my advertisements just aren't as good as they should be. They aren't showing off the product as well, or it could also be that the products themselves aren't enticing enough for the people to go over to the store. At this point, I've realized that I still have a lot to learn about advertising and how to make a good advertisement with my product. So I started thinking of alternative ways to get people's eyes onto my products, and this led me to the best idea I've had in my print on demand journey so far. There are so many different social media platforms and if I can put a little bit of work into it I might be able to use those as free advertisement for my store. Here's the exact method that I decided to try. Recently I've been watching a lot of dropshipping videos where people are using TikTok as their main form of advertising. Some people are able to make viral videos by showing off how unique and cool their products are and this in turn gets those people going over to their website and getting sales. So the big brain idea here is to do exactly that same thing but with my print on demand products. Create a TikTok account, post consistently, and those viewers will go over to my store and buy something. I think that's a pretty good idea, right? Wrong. Well, it's a tiny bit trickier than that when you're actually doing it. There were a handful of challenges that I ran into, but if you're interested in all that information, I made a whole video talking about my experience with TikTok and print on demand advertising. The good news is that this new advertising technique would ensure that if I made any sale at all, that there would be a profit that I can take out of it. So with that, I added a couple more designs to my store and started posting consistently on TikTok. And guess what? It worked. This plan actually worked. I made my first sale without having to do any paid advertisements, which meant this was the first time I made a profit actually selling print on demand. Slowly but surely, I was able to get more and more sales by doing this method because some of my videos actually gained a little bit of traction. Now I did make a couple more changes during this time that I wanna tell you guys about. The first was increasing my prices so that I would have a little bit better profit margins. And the second one was to put things on a holiday sale so that people would see this sale and be more enticed to do an impulsive purchase. Now, before we get into the results, I do wanna let you guys know that I do all of my fulfillment for print on demand through Printify. They offer some of the lowest prices for shipping and production, as well as some of the quickest times for overall fulfillment. If you're interested in starting your own print on demand store, or if you already have your own print on demand store, then be sure to check out Printify with the link in my description. But now, just like in the first three videos of this series, the moment that we've all been looking forward to, let's talk about the results. Since the last video, we've got 1,210 visits. You can see that the majority of those visits was in November. That's when I was posting the most consistently on that TikTok account. Of those visits, I was able to get 13 orders. Now that is a 1.1% conversion ratio, which isn't great. So maybe my products do need to get a little bit better, but that's 13 orders from free advertising. Etsy says that the total revenue from that was $397.58, but the total sales amount is $452.10 before any Etsy fees or production costs. The total Etsy fees were $60.22, and the total production and fulfillment costs were $286.77. After all the fees and production costs, 
the final profit is $105.11. Now, I think this is a cause for celebration because the store is finally profitable. I know that's no crazy amount. I know I'm not saying thousands. It's definitely not the amount that you'd want to be making from a full-time job, but the store is finally profitable in this series. If you've made it this far, then I think this video deserves a like just for the fact that we made a profitable store. But we can't just stop there. Now it's time to figure out how we're gonna scale this profit. After doing a little bit of thinking and talking to Ryan Hogue, I realized that I've been going about this whole print on demand business in the least traditional way possible. Now that we've made the store profitable, here are a couple different things that I wanna start trying. I'm gonna start by posting a lot more designs on my store so that I'm casting the biggest possible net trying to get the biggest possible audience. Along with that, I'm going to be focusing more on trends and holidays to see if that can boost my sales during those moments. I'm planning to find a designer that will help me create better designs. Hopefully this will improve my conversion ratio for the people who actually do visit my store. And finally, once I get better and more designs, I want to try going over to Amazon Merch on Demand but also I want to go back to trying paid advertising. But that's going to be all for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video or found any of it educational, then be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.